Yeah, for an hour defeat this afternoon at home to Barrow. On another day, do you feel it could have been a different outcome? Ooh, difficult one because I thought um, they were very strong uh, physically, put us on the back foot early. Um, we didn't start you know, in a blaze of glory like we did last week. We were putting balls in the box and um, and asking questions with high tempo at play. It was a little bit flat and this is where you know, we have to be more consistent. You know, It's the same message as last week, sessions, um, in life in training, but you know, the, um, the end product, is, you know, the, the performance uh, was short and whilst it was a fantastic goal, you know, with their strike, um, it was a moment of quality and we were short of that in our game today. I thought we were very neat with our build-up play at times today. Um, penalty aside, we didn't quite seem to be able to sort of carve out any real clear-cut opportunities. Is there a sense of frustration with that or related to that? Is, is it credit to what was an organised, well-drilled um, Barrow unit? I think they've got a really good experience lineup, haven't they? Where big physically down the core and if you're not bang on it technically and you know the conference um, is knocked a bit after the first 20 minutes um, we need to get going you know and we need to uh, be better technically and, and we weren't because we were knocked and um, and then it was kind of a, a turgid performance where we're succumbing to that physicality and that's not being disrespectful to, to their physicality they were they were big strong athletes and and um, you know they've got a powerful, powerful looking squad, haven't they? Um, but we tried to at half time reinvigorate the lads by, you know, I thought if he came on and done well just before half time, but saying, look, he's getting on it, taking responsibility on, uh, with the ball. And if you're not a big team, which we're not, um, we have to find a way, you know, and we're trying to say, you, you know, in training, in the Morecambe game, in the Doncaster game, the Carlisle game, we look fantastic on the day because you passed it. Um, but there's no good as launching it long. And sometimes you do with the two level um, from goal kicks when people push right on you. Um, it, it's the way that has to be done sometimes. But you can't just not really put up a fight. You've, you've, you've got to have that healthy balance between physicality, fighting the fight, and trying to pass. Evening on Tuesday. In terms of the, the attitude application of the players, that one or two things we can improve on. Do you think the attitude application was there? Did you, did you get the response that you were expecting to see? Yeah, this is that's quite a raise from the memory, to be honest. Wednesday, because um, it's not a true reflection on even those involved, because it's the first time for quite some time a few of the players have played, and it's important to give them football. Um, albeit, you know we. We gambled wrong, wrong in my, in my, in my and it's my fault because we thought they might bring a young team. Uh, in effect, that yes, they were young, but they were experienced at championship level and international level in some circumstances. But in terms of latching onto a cliche of you know, oh, the commitment wasn't there or anything, that's that's not true. They were just light years away from us, a top championship team. So um, I wouldn't say that. I think we've got a good bunch of lads. It was a busy deadline day for the club yesterday. So we saw the statement sort of lunchtime regarding Luke Armstrong. Um, is there anything to add or any updates? To be honest, um, over the last 90 minutes, I haven't checked my phone. Um, so I have no updates on, on that matter. We did complete moves for Jeremy Sivy and Josh Marsh, who came in yesterday. Obviously, we know Josh fairly well from his time before. What, what are you expecting, hoping that both those players can bring to the club? Well, life to the final third. You know, we were short of that first half, and um, there's been a lack of consistency in terms of, you know, the forward uh, contingent really turning it on on a consistent level. Um, but these two lads, you know, bring pace. But, um, you know, we know March really excited about signing him. He was, you know, top of my list. You know, I've uh, I've loved the way he plays the game. Um, and he plays the handbrake off and clearly isn't inhibited when the pressure's on. Um, so I'm sure he's going to deliver and bang the goals in for us with with um, Jeremy Sivy. But he's uh, an exciting young talent, and um, you know we're looking forward to him wearing the shirt. Okay, thanks, Gaffer. Thank you. Cheers.